What's happening, Hoodlum Gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old end. And I'm back at y'all with another video. But look, if it's your first time here, hey man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a member of the Hoodlum Gang. Leave me a like, leave me a comment, share, hit that notification, go on over to IG, follow me at Hoodie from the Hood. Now look, man, y'all see the title. You may have even seen the video I'm talking about. If you haven't, stop this video. Go look at what I'm talking about and come back so you can have a little more knowledge about the situation. Um, Y'all send me the content, man. That's what y'all do. Several people sent me this content. Few homies. I had actually told one of the homies that I wasn't even going to talk about it. Just based on I don't want to keep talking about certain individuals as if I don't have my own content. But this, this, this just, this can't fly, homie. This right here had to be talked about. I'm starting to see a few other channels. Um, I haven't necessarily clicked on none of them to hear anything they said. I probably will after I upload mine. But um, this, this ain't personal, homie. It's not personal on my behalf. It's content, like I said, y'all send it to me. People. People keep giving this dude a pass, homie. And by this dude, I'm talking about Whack 100. But we'll get to him in a second. This loose cannon dude. Uh, he just went on no jumper. Um, to me, it sounds like he might have some bitterness over that $50,000 that he didn't get a cut of. Or, 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 or some of the other situations that he said he was doing this and doing that. And Big U was taking credit for it. Implicating himself in a whole lot of crimes, homie. Like, this this is goofy right here. Implicating himself in crimes, uh, extortion. Because uh, 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 you, you, you said you pressed Rick Ross over Meek Mill or something. Y'all was going to do something to Meek Mill and hit Rick Ross like he's sending 50000 or he going to die. These are your words, homie. And, uh... They send the money to Big U. You holla at Big U. Big U said he needed it for bills. You didn't get your cut. So you sound you sound like a disgruntled employee. You sound like a, 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 a an abused uh, housewife or something. And and I no shot at people who go through domestic violence. But anyways, um. So then he keep talking, and then he gets to the point to where he say, Big U called me and say. Nipsey Hussle just got killed. He like, what? He get off the phone with him, called Nipsey. Nipsey answered. This is 30 minutes prior to something happening to Nipsey. 30 minutes later, it's everywhere. Nipsey just got killed. So you get on this platform with, um, what, 5 million subscribers? Or any platform on the internet for that matter. And you accuse him of having knowledge of Nipsey Hussle's death prior to it happening. Your whole point of coming on here was to say that Big U is snitching and he 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 working for the police and all this stuff. Same stuff Wack been saying about the grid program. Multiple people then came out and said that's not what the grid program is. But anyways, this is his push. This is what Wack. He's another one that seemed like battered and abused and salty about falling out with Big U. So, you talking about, oh, he's been having this phone since 2015 or, or, or 10, 11 years, but you was his friend that whole time, homie. And if you did ask him about his Blackberry, I guarantee you it wasn't aggressively. I guarantee you it was playful. And, man, what's up with that old phone, bro? You need to upgrade probably like that. You're making it seem like you was pressing like, Nigga, what's up with that phone? Nigga, that's some weird shit. Like, come on, homie. We know you wouldn't press it like that. But this this whole little thing came about because y'all talking about him being a rap, but then y'all go up there and do the rat shit that you accuse him of doing. And we don't need no paperwork because Adam recorded it. <laughs> Shout out to my boy Dream Form. But nah, um, that's ratting right there, homie. It's ratting on TV. You don't need no paperwork for that. See, 
Wack didn't already said what he said about Jay Diggs and Mac Dre. Whether this stuff is true or not, you don't you don't put no investigation on somebody. Not saying they are, but it could lead to that. You putting the police on people by making these accusations. And look, he tried to say, oh, oh yeah, I couldn't tell y'all this. He had to come on here. Why not? You you make accusations about everybody any other time. Why not? You got on Clubhouse and you specifically said Jake Diggs is a dude who had Mac Dre killed. So what's the difference between saying Big U had Nipsey killed? There is no difference, homie. If you foul, you foul, homie. So he he always come with these elaborate stories to how sh shit just came into his lap. Oh, I'm chilling. I'm building a remote control car. And he called me and tell me this. So he told you that somebody had somebody backdoored in a situation like that. And you thought it was a great idea to go on no jumper and tell the world that. If somebody tell me right now, hey, such and such lined up whoop de whoop and then I say, we should put that on the channel. I'm just as much of a rat as you at that point, homie. Certain shit shouldn't be on the internet. If he told you that, there's no way he was supposed to go on no jumper and tell the whole world that. But y'all call him Big U to snitch. Y'all clearly just snitched right there. Like I said, doesn't matter if it's true or not. You don't do shit like that. And call yourself coming from the streets. This nigga, when he talking, he talking about, I guess he from 6-0. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. But it seems like there's some, I don't know what Big U did to these dudes, whether it be 600, whack, this loose cannon dude. But they got a real personal vendetta against him. And they want him out the way at all costs because for you to go on tv and say some shit like that certain stuff i get it it's content but all good all content ain't good content homie just like all money ain't good money they playing foul homie they just did it in front of everybody and people gonna excuse whack everybody putting a loose cannon picture up there saying he telling he telling whatever the case is no put put whack picture next to him too don't leave him out please don't leave him out give him his credit because he liked to get the credit for everything all the time anyways give him the credit for this he always yeah the crips called me and they told me this and they told me that give him the credit you read it just like this nigga, homie, because you knew that he was going to say that shit and you thought it was okay for him to come on the platform in front of the world and say that out loud. He could have said that on another platform by himself. That's what I'm saying. Some of these dudes get so caught up in views and content, they forget where they come from, homie. I don't even be hearing him say on Pyro no more unless he do it on Clubhouse. But that's probably a good thing because I'm quite sure it's a lot of Pyro's who don't like being associated with him and don't like them being thrown into the mix because when you keep on saying Pyru and uh, I've been a representative of this for this long it makes it sound like you the spokesperson or you're attached to that community you you are far removed from that community homie even if you still talk to a few niggas you are removed mentally from that community because the shit that you do come on man like I said yeah the other dude he told you sitting right next to him while he telling. But you call everybody else a rat, homie. We didn't see you do rat shit multiple times since you've been popping on the internet. I don't know, man. I guess I don't fit in. This is, this is exactly why. <laughs> exactly why you ain't gonna see me on certain levels, man. Because I just refused to, to play into these little games homie these 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 internet games man y'all playing with people freedom homie y'all might as well go to court it hey man listen if they start investigating and and and, and a nigga gotta go to trial behind something y'all said they're gonna use your video and your words as evidence <sighs> like i said man it's your boy hoodie from the hood aka your friend from that big o in your neighborhood hoodlum.
the world's most dangerous YouTuber. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below, man. <laughs> I'm out.